right, good to go. So when Chris asked us the other day what ins who inspires you, everybody kind of threw up some famous people on the board. For whatever reason, the first person that popped into my head was my mom. So that is who I am doing my topic on today. So my mom, we have our differences like every parent-child relationship, but she really has inspired me a lot through my 20 years. Um, when she first started her schooling program, she wanted to be a nurse, and so she was just a newlywed, she was 20 years old, pretty much fresh out of high school still, and she applied for the nursing position, nursing school at ESRA, and decided that eventually she wasn't going to want to do that. She wanted to become a midwife. So how many people here know what a midwife is or what do they do? Okay. So for those of you who don't know what they do, they um, assist women in prenatal care, childbirth, postpartum care, they basically just help women deliver babies, that is all they do. And so she decided that she really wanted to do that. Um, unfortunately at the time when she decided that, Canada didn't have any programs that she could do through correspondence so that she could stay home and raise me because I was just like a little, little baby at the time. Um, so she decided to go with the University of Utah. Because of that, she's going to be in, trained as an international midwife, which we will come back to later. Um, currently, Canada now has 1,228 registered midwives, which for the size of Canada isn't really that much. Most of them are in BC and Ontario. Alberta has 78 registered midwives for the entire or province, and Saskatchewan has 14, which is, according, uh, as of two years ago, includes my mom. So, um, she just, she persevered throughout my entire childhood. I have three sisters, and my mom was in school for pretty much our entire childhood. Uh, she graduated two years ago and started working. Um, she just, she never gave up. When, because, when she finally did graduate the program, she wanted to apply to become a Canadian midwife. So she had to do the CMRE, which if I can find it here, is the Canadian Registered Midwife Exam. She also found out that because of when she started her program, she wasn't going to be able to do that until she did a six-month-long refresher course, which was in Toronto. My sisters were four and nine at the time, so my dad had to solo parent, so I went back to help them out while my mom did this, because she had to sit down and decide if she actually wanted to go through with this. She'd spent almost 20 years doing this. Did she still want to go through with it? And she did. So finally, she finished all of her programs. She is registered now. Um, and she just, she never gave up, which is hugely inspiring to me because I've spent probably three years now trying, trying to decide if this is the right course for me, and I absolutely love it. Um, but not only through education has she inspired me, also through her personal life. My parents met when they were 14 years old, and they've been married for 20 years and tw together for 28, which is actually really impressive in this time and age. Mm -hmm. um, especially for people who are, who marry young. Divorce rates are usually between 35 and 42 percent, so that's just on average for Canada. Um, divorce rates among families who have experienced loss of a child can be as much as eight times the norm. Why am I telling you this? Because in 2009, uh, my sister passed away. So throughout this entire time, my mom was also still in school to become a midwife to help people who to help them through the loss of a child or to be trained in how, knowing what to do in that situation, which she had never gotten to know when it came to Abby, my sister. Um, so that was really impressive to me is that she still stuck with it and she still stayed in the program and she still struggles with it, but she also helped people through their own loss. She started up a blog when she was about 30, year, 30 years old and it was just kind of to get her own thoughts down on paper and get them sorted out and now she has people from all over the world following it and asking her for advice and everything else. Um, when I did my class in high school about journalism, we had just to see how many people or see where everyone was from that was paying attention. She has people from Israel, from China, from Australia, New Zealand, all over the states, all over Canada, tuning in and listening to what she has to say. Um, I just... I think that my mom is one of the most inspiring people I've ever met, and I'm really thankful that she is my mom. <laughs> <laughs>